Welcome back to my channel dreamers, some of you asked me how I animated the writing here. Well, nothing easier, I used my new favorite filter, noise. Today's video will be a very simple one, I'm working hard on my next project animal and I want to remind you that next week a tutorial on how I made the car will be released. It will only the beginning but I hope you will find it useful. As always I invite you to watch the video until the end if you are interested, for me it's important for the growth and life of the channel. So for today's tutorial we start directly here on Dreams, we don't need Procreate and the first thing I'm going to add a text. I change the color to white, otherwise you don't see anything. Ok, and what are we going to write? Mm, I'd say I love Dreams. Now let's stretch and I put it in the center. Here, here, ok. At this point we'll use all the power of the noise filter. I have already made some tutorials about it, go and see them if you haven't done. You will find the link in the description. Now I take the grey color and I'm going to fill a layer under the writing. Fill the track and vamos. Next step, take this layer and duplicate it above twice. One and two. Ok. For now let's hide the layers above and on this one let's give an HSB filter and make it completely dark. I'm also changing the background color a little so maybe you can see something too. <laughs> ok. Now we turn the first layer back on above the text and add the noise filter to it. Let's give a little amount, a bit of scale, but not too much otherwise the effect wouldn't work. We leave only this keyframe for the noise filter, for today's effect as we'll see we'll have to work on opacity and blur. For the last layer I finally changed the blending mode to hard mix. Go back to the layer where we find the noise filter and add an opacity keyframe here. It's not important where, but the value will be. Go down with the value until all the ripples disappear and only the writing remains. Ok guys, the job is done. <laughs> Now let's go to the text layer and add a keyframe with the blur filter. Here our animation starts. As you will see the shape takes the ripples of the noise filter, but what I want is that in the initial keyframe it disappears completely. This happens because I haven't given the correct opacity value to the noise layer yet. If we go back to this layer and decrease the opacity of the layer again, as you can see, the shape of the text disappears. We get to the point where it disappears completely. Ok. Next step we'll have to decide the timing of our animation, how long the writing will take to appear, so we add a blur keyframe for example at 5 seconds and set the value to 0. How to see the writing magically reappear. Has a trend curve set linear and the animation is complete. Next step I want to give a color to the text so I'm going to group all the elements. I choose a color from the palette like this. Ok and fill a layer above. I fill the track and change the blending mode to multiply. 
This way the color will blend with the shape of the text. To make everything more beautiful, I'm going to group them again. I set the blending mode to screen. I duplicate the whole group above. Bring at the beginning of the timeline. And on this new group I give a blur filter. I increase it a little so you can at least see something, creating a shade around the text. Beautiful this effect. What do you think? Don't Now you will ask yourself how I created this effect. Well, nothing easier. First of all, I export the animation as a video. And save it. At this point, I import the video to Dreams. Now we have our animation directly as a video and above all on a single layer that can be modified. And then I'm going to add a keyframe with the distort tool, for example, at 5 seconds. I go back to the beginning of the timeline and for example distort the shape like this. The ability to export and re-import the animation as a video and then add more animations is really useful. And here you can really let your imagination run wild as you wish. With just the distortion tool I can already get a great result. And for example, if I also add the resizing at the beginning of the timeline, I can obtain an even more dynamic effect. We love dreams, right? Well, dreamers, we have reached the end of another fantastic tutorial. Very simple indeed, but I think it's really useful for creating interesting things. As always, I invite you to write in the comments if there is something that is not clear, or if you want to delve deeper into other topics. In the meantime, thanks for watching and...